Louis Raven, Sean Wade. Sean, congratulations on being drafted today by the Ravens. And with that, we will open it up to our media. Hey. Garrett, start us, off, start us off. Hey, Sean, congratulations. Um, what are your thoughts about teaming up with some guys, obviously, that you know well, J.K. Dobbins and Malik Harrison? Um, I'm just I'm just excited to be back with my guy, especially J.K. Me and J.K. got some stories from freshman year. And Malik was somebody that brought me in when I first got there. You know, he's a Columbus native. So just being around them two guys and in the future is going to be great. And I'm just very, very excited. Ryan Mick. Yeah, Sean, uh, do you feel like you're best suited to inside corner? I know you, you played both at Ohio State. Do you feel like, hey, when you're at the top of your game, you're playing inside in that slot? Um, it don't matter what position I play. Uh, at the end of the day, if I have to play inside, I play inside. If they need me at uh, corner, need me at corner, need me at safety, need me at safety. I still got versatility and I still have to do everything. Um, my number one thing is be healthy. And when I'm healthy, you get the best shot with it. So. Jameson Hensley. Hey, Sean, congratulations. Um, for the, the past few days on the draft, how has that been for you personally? Uh, you know, obviously, you, you know that you, you could have gone at any point, but how how is it to be drafted and how have been the first these past few days for you? Um, just a blessing to be drafted. I'm part of the one percenters. Oh, that's one of my coaches tests me today, but you got you to gotta enjoy the moment that you're part of the one percenters. And this is everybody's dream just to be drafted and it really to go to first round. But you understand there's only 32 that go in the first round. So just being being able to be drafted is a blessing. And um, I'm, like I said, I'm just excited. Uh, so. Cliff Brown. Yeah, Sean, uh, Cliff Brown, Ravens Media. Congratulations to you, man. Uh, yes, so sir. I'm listening to TV, uh, and they're saying you have first round talent, but you didn't play up to the 2019 standards last year. So I want to hear from you. Uh, what do you think contributed to that last year? And are you entering the NFL kind with a chip on your shoulder to show that all these teams that pass on you are going to regret it? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I, 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 it's not even a choice. I've been had a chip on my shoulder since the 2020 season and of that and the things that I've been through and stuff. But I'm always going to come in with the chip on my shoulder regardless. And I know what I'm going to do on the field. I know what I can do. Uh, I know my smartness, my talent. And like everybody said, they know I got first round talent and I know I got first round talent. So that right now, just putting it on the field and doing it every day for sure. Were you bothered by COVID at all uh, or anything last year? Or tell me what happened with you last year. I had a lot of things going on, uh, family situations, injuries, surgeries, um, turf toe, knee problem, um, people dying, gr gr granny died, um, cousin died, cousin mom moms died. So it was just a lot of things going on. But at the end of the day, it's called adversity. It's called growing up and going through adversity. And that's something I've been through. And I, I everybody got a different story. And that's why I've been, I've been doing this thing called um, Cleats on the Ground back in, back in my hometown city. And everybody got a different story. Everybody around is different. All you got to do is keep on living and keep on having fun. And God, if you just do do God's do God's will, at the end of the day, it, your life is going to be great. So, thank you. Go to Todd Karpovich. Sorry about that. Uh, congratulations. Uh, how, how much do you know about the Ravens secondary and the talent they have back there with Marlon Humphrey, Marcus Peters, Jimmy Smith? And how much can you learn from guys like that? Oh yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't wait to get around them guys. Um, I know them, those are like Marcus Peters. I mean, what you say, um, Marlon Humphrey and all of them. Like I didn't watch them when I was younger, and I, I'm just excited to be around them, Marcus Peterson, and just everybody because I know that they're goats and they're vets, and now it's time to learn from them. And um, they could teach me a couple of things, and I could probably teach them a couple of things, the things that I brought because I know I'm a smart player too. So I can't wait to learn from them and be around them guys. And I know, I know the Ravens have a, a great secondary for sure. Ryan Mink. John, you have kind of an interesting uh, background I'm, I'm reading about here that you lived in Italy and, uh, you know, came back to the States. Just how has that shaped you as a person, kind of that broad, uh, you know, experience? Uh, I've been through a lot during my childhood, living in Italy, coming back to the States, coming back to the States. I used to live with foster kids. That's when my grandma took care of a whole bunch of foster kids. So I understand that lifestyle. I understand the lifestyle of having a single mom because my dad was always gone, Afghanistan, Kuwait. So uh, it just it just was a learning experience for me. And it shows me that you can't take nothing for granted, man. So that's what I took out of it. And that's why I love giving back and helping kid, other kids that, that's going through that everyday lifestyle. And I'm just very, very excited. Cliff Brown? No, I'm good, Tom. I'm sorry. I'm good. Todd, did you have another one? I'm sorry, I put my hand down. Thank you, I'm good. 
Okay. Anything else for Sean here this afternoon? All right, Sean. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Yes, I appreciate it. Congratulations. And uh, we look forward to meeting you in person here soon. All right.